So, I have a game idea. This idea is a multiplayer-like game, but instead of multiple players, you fight against bots. The reason I want to make this game is because I want to experience maps like Rust from Modern Warfare 2, but they don't have bots. I really like Rust, and I thought to myself, hey, I can make games. Why don't I try to make a game that has a map like Rust? That is when this idea was born. I made a new Unity project based off the Universal Rendering Pipeline. Once the editor loaded, I deleted the default assets and made a player. Making the player will be real simple because I can just import the movement scripts from my Combat Evolved clone. Alright, we have movement in. Transition to the next part. Right now, we just have a plane, but this is kind of boring. I imported ProBuilder and ProGrids and started blocking out a layout. If you want to know how to use ProBuilder yourself, then I recommend you check out my 2021 ProBuilder video. Link in the description. Alright, we have a simple map with some rooms the player can walk in and out of. We have the player moving around in some rooms, but the game at its current state is not a first person shooter game. First person shooter games have guns. I imported the gun script from my Halo Combat Evolved clone because this is the only game that I have made that has readable gun code. So I got this imported, and for now the weapon is just a cube, but I can fix this in a later devlog. This weapon script works by doing some fancy math, and if it detects anything, it can either do damage or spawn a bullet hole. Spawning a bullet hole tutorial will come later. Move on. Our gun has a muzzle flash, but that is kind of boring. I recorded an audio clip of, clip of me clapping. Whenever the user presses the left mouse button, the sound plays. Some effects always make things feel more powerful along with some screen shake. I've never done a screen shake before, so this should be a learning experience. In games, there's two ways to do recoil. The first way is to use animations. This way is a lot easier, but it gets repetitive. The second way is to do procedural recoil. This way is a little more difficult, but it takes some quaternion work along with some trial and error. I'm going to go with animated recoil just because it's good for my game right now. Post-processing makes your game look pretty. I am currently using the universal rendering pipeline that comes with post-processing by default. So I didn't have to create or input anything. Just change and add some filters. Forward. This is the first devlog for a game I'm calling Single Server Warfare because it resembles a multiplayer FPS, but in reality, you are just fighting against bots. If you want to help support the creation of this game and get notified when more videos come out, then I recommend you subscribe and leave a like. Now enjoy some of these clips. Fun Uber out.